Today's video is sponsored by Yankum Ropes. The kinetic energy rope that you see me use in today's video has been used over 100 times and it still works like it's brand new. And that's because it's from Yankum Ropes. It's made in America by people who care with top quality materials. If you're in the market for the perfect recovery tool for the snow, make sure you check out Yankum Ropes. Just click the link in the description of this video. My Patreon supporters were asking for a trip that's a little bit more hardcore, so I decided to make this first quote-unquote hardcore trip in the snow. The day was amazing, we found some deep snow, but like many of my videos, it didn't exactly go according to plan. Did you just say you have a collision? Today on Dirt Lifestyle, I'm with a whole bunch of people here from Patreon. We are gonna go up and see a whole bunch of snow, we hope. Supposedly, there is a crazy amount of snow getting dumped in the mountains right now, and so we're gonna head up and see what we can find. For those of you that don't know, Mount Baker, which is in my home state of Washington, once held the world record for the most snowfall in a single season, and it was 1,140 inches in one season. The area that we're gonna head to today is about 60 miles from Mount Baker, but it's in the same mountain range, and like Mount Baker, it gets tons of snow. So hopefully we can find the deep stuff and we can get ourselves a little stuck. Everybody, you know Kelly. Hi. It's been a while since you've seen him on the channel because yeah. I seem to overland way more than <laughs> rock crawl you've these been, days. You've been gone. <laughs> well, Kelly and his kiddos are gonna ride with me. Yep. And what do you think, you optimistic? Are we gonna find that deep stuff? Um, I think so. I'm, I'm optimistic. Dude. It's uh, it's cold enough. I don't know why it's still raining right now, but it's yeah. like 32 and it's raining. I don't Dude, understand. That's crazy, it. So, right? <laughs> yeah. But there's definitely snow here, uh, and we're going up, and I think we'll find it. I think we'll find it too. We're probably yeah. only at like 1,200 feet. Yeah, and we're we still pretty low. Yeah. After everybody got down to the tire pressure they were looking for, we slowly headed up into the mountains, hoping we can get out of the slush into the deep powder. Because if you've ever been snow wheeling, you know how frustrating it is to snow wheel through ice cream. It's much better to get up into the powder, the stuff that's really cold and sticks together, so you can actually float on top of it and have a little fun. Got somebody stuck up here in the ditch. We're gonna have to give him a minute to clear out. He's getting after it. Buddy. We'll see if he needs help. Nice, I didn't even have to get out. Found a hole. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, no, dude. dude. You're... Oh, cool. Thanks. Right on. How you guys doing today? Doing good by yourself. Good. We're just out here filming and having fun, man. Yep. You want help? Where we're at is still pretty slushy, so he couldn't really steer out of the ditch, and so we're gonna pull him backwards, get him back on the trail, and we'll continue up the mountain. Oh, she's you in there. You wanna put it yeah. on there. What are you texting? You're on the chive or something and driving? Uh, no, I just was trying to play. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes well, that's what we're all up here to do. Is exactly. to get stuck and push the limits. Jonathan was the first victim in our group, so we did the same thing. We just hooked up the income rope, and um, this is what the rest of the day is going to look like. You push the boundaries of your rig, you find them, and then someone helps pull you out. Oh, anything for the shot. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can hand that camera back.
Hey, what'd you do? Me? Yeah. Oh, there's a... No, it's and the, I ran out of Clever. I have no idea. I, <laughs> I was just kind of trying to push it. I wanted to get in the deep stuff and just see how far down I could go. I could go down that far. So we discovered how far it can go. Well, we asked for snow and we absolutely found it. And after our group played with our tire pressure just a little bit, we were able to get everybody pretty dialed and we no longer were getting stuck. However, we started to find quite a few people who needed our help. Tire mark there. <laughs> the snow was still pretty slushy, so this poor guy's Cherokee did not want to steer out of the ditch. So one of the members of our group, Aaron, decided to reposition himself in a way that he could use his winch to try and pull the Cherokee up sideways, and then Aaron got stuck, and then we had to use a combination of all three rigs. It just took a little troubleshooting and playing with the snow. <laughs> the front end's still down there. Might have to hook to him and pull the front end over there. Nice and easy, Kelly. Go ahead. Nice and easy. We ran into even more stuck people, believe it or not, but they said they didn't need our help, so we just kept on cruising down the trail, and finally things were going to open up, the snow slowed down, and the views became amazing.
All right, little update. <laughs> it's coming down. We, the tail end of our group got super stuck at the bottom of this hill down here and they have been fighting to get them unstuck. This is the only way in and only way out. So we can't even go down to help them uh, because it's too steep and we just make things worse. And so we've been up here playing on this big, just super deep snow bank. I mean, I went into snow way over my hood, way over my hood. So now they think they got them unstuck enough or the people down there that were stuck unstuck enough to turn them around and then once we get word okay, everybody hit the move start coming down the toyota guys are out of the way and uh i guess everybody that can turn around turn around or go up turn around or back down whatever you got to do i'll come up on the corner in case somebody needs some guidance thanks dave we're on the way well that's our cue one by one, we slowly worked our way back down this hill so we could make the climb back out of this area and onto the freeway. But unfortunately, the struggle wasn't over yet. Did you just say you have a collision? Yeah, Roger that. Oh, two collision, holy fuck. Everybody is, uh, I got rear-ended. Shit. You okay? Wow, well, um, <laughs> okay, well, whatever we can do to, to help or whatever, but let's uh, just let us know what we can do. I think everybody got hit but the Wagoneer. What happened and one person stopped and then nobody else could stop anymore? Jeez. No, it was, uh, we had, we had plenty of distance, they just stopped. Let's, uh, let's get everybody down here safely and let's figure out, figure out what to do. You guys up the hill still moving? Yeah, we're still moving up front here. Oh, that's why. How about in the back end where all the collisions were? Yeah. yeah. So I stopped just because there was Thank no you for more. giving us so much distance. I was giving you that, and I, I oh, had you gave that us much tons, which is good. I had that behind me, and then those lights disappeared. So that's why we stopped in the middle of the whole thing. We were kind of waiting yeah, for his and then we got. And then we slowed down, and then once we saw then you. Then we got headlights, yeah. came around the corner, so we took off again. So did you guys get hit? No. No? Yeah. But you heard? There's a people playing bumper yeah. cars? Yeah. Man. <coughs> Did you guys get hit? No. Yeah. Okay, so it's everybody behind you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They stacked up quick. It was one light and then it was three. Wow. Well, are you okay? Well, I'm okay. I just, I gotta go look at the rear end and see what. Let's take a peek. It looks like it must have just been the bumper because I don't see anything bent. Yeah, I thought it was a stinger. It's got that stinger. Oh yeah. Oh, he hit you with the stinger? All I saw was his front tire turn right there oh, after shit. I heard a little crunch. You guys all right? Yeah, I can yeah. steer, I can stop, I can do nothing. So I literally... <sighs> so the stinger hit him? Where'd it hit him at? Like right in the middle right there. Okay. Here somewhere. Oh man, like Perfect. the most beefed up part of the tailgate. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can see the... Good deal. Yeah. I was hoping that's where it hit. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, we were all like, like, no! I, I took a turn. Like my wrist, I for no impact. Control. Oh. I had no control so flight. And then someone the hit you? No, no, we no. just heard oh, okay. it. No. It was no, behind us. We could oh, see. so people we could started sliding behind you guys. Crash yeah, we saw the light. Like, like <laughs> way behind me. <laughs> <It's a> separate <laughs> crash. Somebody got in the ditch and then the two behind him. Oh, no. That's in there. I mean, <laughs> it sounded like a movie. I, like, I'm just breaking. like you could hear on the camera, I'm like, oh my God. I think the orange Rubicon went awesome. in the ditch and then the silver one and then the FJ. Yeah. All right, guys. Is anybody stuck up there and do you need me to come up? Negative. We got the first guy that spun out on the hill. He started down slowly now. Second guy, Silver Jeep, is 
Ten four. Well, hey, once we get down here on the road, we need like good juju from here all the way out. <laughs> yeah, there was no stop, and I tried. Everybody tried. Both of us tried to get into this deep snow, and it just kept bouncing us back back into it. It was just like slow motion. Yeah, this guy's like, nope. We don't want you here. <laughs> yeah. We're probably all two hundred feet from each other. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, how bad is it? I think I'm fine. You think you're fine? Oh, they probably just hit your uh, your tire. Yeah. Oh, no, they hit your bumper. Yeah, that bumper's pretty. Oh, yeah, that bumper's toast. Yeah. It's got a little dinger on it, a little humdinger. Yeah, the tailgate's not going to open. No, the tailgate's not going to open. I was following, I think I was right. No, yeah, you guys. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there was nothing. It was just. Oh. Or I was I was Sliding. in first gear, low range, just crawling, and all of a sudden, my RPMs were like three thousand. All of a sudden, they were one thousand. There, so there was no traction or anything, nothing keeping the wheels going. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it was either hit you guys or go off in the ditch. And I tried getting into the right ditch because I knew the left ditch was going to be the fuel behind me. Yeah, I went into the left ditch and they hit me. Damn. I couldn't even get in the ditch. <laughs> Stop that, because I hit him in front of me. So. Oh, dang. Um, looks like they got their grill and bumper. Oh, Jesus. There's no brakes, nothing. But he said, he's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. It's concaved and stuff. Oh, yeah, the whole bumper is... Oh, the is all fucked up. Yeah. Shorty. How are you looking, Dave? It, I'm gonna it, build it, a shorty now. Oh, it did you up good too? Holy cow. Yeah, this is the scary part. It's right up against my Saginaw. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not dripping, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I hope oh, it didn't break them out. A sheet of ice down that. So, Patreon people, are we all still friends? Yeah. <laughs> are we all gonna. Well, it sounds like. If that was mine, it I sounds like this genuinely was, was not a distance problem. <laughs> no, it was, it was a story, super right? slick hill problem. Yep. So we're all just going to super carefully get out of here, right? Yep. Yep. Um, we're just going to have to stick the radios right up there by us. And if anyone starts sliding, just let everybody around you know. And we're just going to slowly work our way out of this hill. I don't think there was any steep. Well, there was a little bit of steep. We got to go up to get almost. Go up. Yeah, we well, got to go that's up. That's good. Up's better than down, in my opinion. The snow was really coming down now, and I think everyone's adrenaline also coming down. I'm sure there was a lot of very tired people on the trail with us, but we slowly and cautiously worked our way out of this area, and we were able to get back right next to the highway. And I'm happy to report no more accidents. Everybody made it out just fine. Everyone's safe. It's just going to cost a few people a few bumpers and some winch fair leads and whatnot. I think I'm in it. We made it back. I know this is a dark image, people. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. This was awesome. I know that, you know, there was... A little bit of carnage. There was a little rubbing his race in action going on. <laughs> but I think we all had fun. We're all very tired and ready to go home. These videos are hard to shoot, so I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. We'll see you next time.